Maxing on RuneScape takes thousands of hours. So who in their right mind would risk their maxed account by botting on it after it's maxed? Well, these players. A tip off comes in that there are bots runecrafting true blood runes on a 2,200 total world. Guess what? I'm a noob, so I don't have 2,200 total level. So I asked them to record it. Now these accounts are coming into the crafting guild and the people who tip me off have set up a cannon at the bank chest. As you can see, it looks like the accounts try to click on the bank but click on the cannon and then they go back into a loop of teleporting out and running to the true blood rune crafting altar and then back again, clicking on the cannon back to the altar, which makes no sense. If it was a real player, they'd just right click the bank and move on or at the very least, they wouldn't be running back to the altar without banking. One of them even has about 70 million runecrafting XP and is rank 300. In this particular clip, there are just two accounts that seem to be broken while runecrafting, but I've gotten tip-offs about lots of other maxed accounts or near maxed accounts botting on 2200 total worlds. Some runecrafting wrath runes, some doing other activities. I wasn't sent videos of them, so I'm not going to assume they're botting because it's just it makes no sense. Do you think this is a botter buying maxed accounts and risking them with the theory they won't get banned? Or are people literally botting on their main accounts that have taken thousands of hours to create? What are these players thinking? A member of the anti-cheating team has confirmed all of the maxed accounts I sent are bots and all of them except one they said was botting for basically just their mains benefit as far as the anti-cheating team could tell. Remember the bots I've been covering at the new wilderness demi bosses? Well, they're evolving and rapidly. I got a tip from someone named Nick that he has been noticing bots with Calvarian kill count now killing Vetion, the higher level variant in multi in Deep Wildy. So I went to check it out, and a couple of the worlds I hopped to had accounts that instantly disappeared. Did you even see the account log out in that clip? I didn't at first, but when I put it into my recording software and went frame by frame, we're able to catch one frame of the account. And it definitely looks like it could be a bot given its gear. At first we were confused too because we thought the bot logged while it was in combat, but it looks like Vetion had just died so the bot could log out. But then after 10 minutes, I hopped into a world with an active fight. Look what I came across. Two accounts dressed just like the bots at the demi bosses I have previously found, killing Vetion together now since Vetion's in multi. And then I had a random thought, huh, I should probably be using a VPN right now. If you're playing RuneScape, I highly recommend you use ExpressVPN and it's very easy to use. Choose one of the hundreds of servers ExpressVPN offers across dozens of countries and click connect. ExpressVPN actually routes your internet connection through this server, changing your online location, protecting your data from prying eyes. And that's unfortunately very necessary in the RuneScape community. Changing your online location also masks your IP address, which prevents repeated DDoS attacks, which you don't want to have to worry about in a risk fight. But maybe my favorite thing about ExpressVPN is their devotion to performance. They created their own open source VPN protocol called Lightweight that minimizes speed reduction so there's little difference in performance when connected to an ExpressVPN server, which is probably why ExpressVPN consistently ranks number one above other VPNs. So, Go to www.expressvpn.com slash surpugger to find out how you can get three months for free. Thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. So obviously I give chase to the bots. They're wearing monk robes, Vigora's chain mace, and a rune helm. And as soon as I attacked one, they both ran. Unfortunately, I splashed in Vetion's cave. It probably would have been an easy kill. They escaped through the tunnel and due to my poor PKing ability, bad RNG, and their good programming, the one I attacked reached 30 wilderness and teleported out. But we have the usernames and the stats are telling. The higher level one I wasn't attacking has 2240 Vetion KC, is rank 140. It also has 1900 Calvarian kill count, rank 800, as well as 40 Ober kill count. So a bot that started killing Obor in free to play, made it to pay to play, kills Calvarian, and then eventually moves up to Vetion. But what about the other account I was attacking that got away? It has 6,000 RTO kill count. It's rank 41, 47 Callisto kill count, and 44 Ober kills. Exact same pattern with a different wildy boss, but I found it helping this other bot at Vetion. That means there are probably bots at every higher level variant of wildy boss. And shout out to Nick who's been helping me track them. He said that Greyhound 312 gained 1500 Vetion kill count in three days. Including unique drops, the average Vetion kill count is 168k. So this bot 
is making 85 mil per day. One bot, 10 bots, 850 mil. Let me know if you see any of these bots at the higher level wilderness boss variants. This is a strange one. Tip comes in, in free to play worlds, there's an entire bot farm buying newspapers in the Virok town center. So my immediate assumption was that, you know, maybe newspapers are going for a couple hundred GP because nobody's taking the time to buy them. So I buy one. And the price checker says it's one GP. I go to the Grand Exchange. You can't even sell these things on the Grand Exchange. I had forgotten that. So what is this bot farm doing? There's one of these accounts on basically every free-to-play world. So I message the anti-cheating team over at Jagex and say, what's going on with this newspaper bot farm? It's not what I expected. First, the bot farm has collected a total of 159,822 newspapers. The bots mule off the newspapers, but then eventually they switch over to a different activity, which is buying oak logs and turning them into planks and selling them. So they're plank making bots. And the anti-cheating team said they suspect this activity is one of those random activities the botter is using to gain playtime on the bots while also doing something not that suspicious. But obviously this is pretty suspicious because who in their right mind is spending hours a day buying newspapers? Anyway, interesting tactic, but honestly it ended up getting the bot farm caught because it's such a bizarre activity. <laughs> this tip kind of cracks me up. This guy was mining in free to play in the Dorbin mine and accounts kept logging into mine and then they would curse or say something very similar to other accounts that would log into mine. They'd be like, F you, damn it, man. Seriously, FFS. And so he sent me screenshots of tons of accounts logging in and saying this to him. And he was like, no way they're players. So I went to the Dwarven Mine in free to play and most worlds have bots, but I looked up some of the accounts that were saying those things and they actually have kind of high stats, like almost 70s combat stats, 60s fishing and woodcutting. And although I didn't see any bots talk, I started finding a lot of bots mining here with similar stats. I think someone has at least semi-successfully made an all-in-one free-to-play bot script that isn't being banned. Most of these accounts have like 750 total level from free-to-play botting, it seems like, if they're botting mining here. I also think they're bots because their gear patterns are the same. They wear a team cape and a rune full helm, and they all have very similar stats. Combat level 80s for free-to-play, so they're making it pretty far in-game without being banned. Something pretty strange is going on, and I'm not sure what the end goal of these accounts are. Very suspicious stuff happening in game though. Something is going horribly wrong at the Motherload Mine. I counted the number of tip-offs I've gotten in the last month alone and we're talking over a hundred emails. Every world seems to have at least five, five to 10 accounts with 25 plus million mining experience. And I think they're going undetected because they actually have a lot of stats leveled up, but it's generally the same pattern. 40s combat stats, 20 to 60 and other stats, all with around 700 to 850 total level. Some are probably hacked accounts because they have 40 to 50 Slayer and I just can't imagine someone botting that to then go bot mining. The scale of this bot farm is what makes it so insane though. They're all on the second level of Mother Lone Mine, so they're all kind of bunched up together. It's easy to spot. And there are actually online calculators that will tell you how much GP they've made, assuming they've been at the Mother Lone Mine since 30 mining. This one right here has 108 mining, 32 million mining XP. So from Motherload Mine, the calculator says they've made about 180 million GP. And the bots are swarming the area in every world. So let's say 150 million GP per bot around here. It's gotta be at least 1 billion GP worth of loot per world in every world, which is just absolute insanity. I need your opinion on something. The accounts I'm about to show you, are they bots? I have no idea. I get a tip that there are bots at the ranging guild doing the ranging minigame there that insta-log when they see a player. I found a decent number of accounts doing this in a variety of gear, but almost none of them insta-hopped. However, most also didn't respond. That doesn't mean they're a bot though. Most accounts seem to have except aid on, so I was able to tell the other them when they spoke to the archer between rounds of firing 10 arrows. Funnily enough, none of them ever reacted to the tell the other spell. I actually tell the other one every time it talked to the archer for five minutes straight with no reaction from the account. But they all seem to have different gear and slightly different stats. I reported them to the anti-cheating team and they confirmed all of these are bots, but they're not in a bot farm together. Most were botting via different methods. This is actually super nostalgic for me. This is how I got started and interested in bot busting. I used to make money by luring the archery guards to get ranging guild bots killed back when players actually dropped their stuff when they died. 
you could make mills. These are some OG clips of it back in the day from some OG players doing the same thing. Basically, you attack the guards, run outside of the guild and around to the back to lure the guards into that archery pen to a couple squares right where the bot script would click. And the bots would click on the guards attacking them and either kill the guards or get killed. Or if you were lucky, they had auto retaliate off and the script would correct itself and click the target again and the guard would slowly kill them dropping all of their loot. It was so satisfying. I remember staying up till like 6 a.m. doing this over and over again across worlds. I mean, back then, five mil loot felt like you just made three years worth of work. Really good memories. If you're wondering if I tried it on these modern bots, yes. And they definitely also do not break like the old bots back in 2008 and 9 did. <laughs> I got a tip that there are really low level bots killing monks of Zamorak. Luckily, I was online right at the time, I wouldn't have caught them otherwise, but this is where you do the priest in peril quest line. I also saw a naked account run by, so I think these bots are actually just doing priest in peril. But what's kind of interesting about it is the ones I found were using poison daggers to poison down the monks of Zamorak and ensure they get the kill so that they can just do the quest at literally 10 combat. It's hard to tell what they're going to be used for, probably either Canopus Rooftop agility bots or potentially Mortmeyer Fungus bots as well. Anyway, it was interesting to see botters using poison to be able to do quests at lower level and get to botting faster.